And um, they've got, uh, they had, they were also the strongest six-man setup of any of the other teams. So we'll get to find out today if that's true. If they really can survive even the head of the snake, if you will, the IGL. Mm -hmm. That'll be big. RPK is going to find players with their heads turned, but then they just very quickly snap that back. It's three kills in for EG and a bomb plant inevitably off of the side of this. So Shocks and Masuda, hands full with the pistol retake attempt. They've got a player slowly encroaching behind them, which means they've got to get this one going. Stanislaw, that's it. That's all. EG, they kind of head out towards ramp, show a little face, come right back through hut and smash into the A site. They're getting the drop, but they have to kind of move with tempo because the amount of time left over means they don't have options to fake back. Suda's got himself a nice headshot angle, so Terex the opening casualty, but everybody's here for EG, so the trade potential's huge. Sure enough, two members down for Vitality. EG gonna take over the entirety of the bomb site. Navera wrapping from Heisenberg has the door closed in front of him, and that's a sad reality. He does have two teammates looking to come down from ramp. They've got two flashes and a frag grenade to get the retake rolling. Ziwu able to get himself a kill versus Ethan. But again, the trade potential just because of the numbers here from EG. They've got all the positions they'd ever need. A little bit of a floor bang to kind of pepper Stanislaw. Not enough to force him outwards. This is going to be a fourth round for EG. And it's now a matter of like, how do you get these guns out? Ziwu's got an easy route. Navera, not so much. Might have to go down with the ship, as you're saying. We'll see. He'll spot the cross here, look for the fight. They double swing, and they expect him there. So they're very careful, and they don't lose any extra members. Majority alive here for... But that was also a back and forth where, you know, they weren't getting in that solid practice. It's the longest we've seen them in EU, and it's some of the most successful we've seen them. Most notably at the start of all of these maps, you know. 2-0 versus G2, but very close 16-12s. RPK inside of Hut loses a teammate beyond him. Trades out versus Sir, AK in for the tank. And he takes a headshot. Two players up for Vitality. Ziwu still alive, up in the heavens. Masuda could set him up or help him out. Literally. Get out of here and possibly save. They've got that smoke to maybe exit, but with Stanislaw down beneath them, man, he should have this locked in easy. They peek downwards, and sure enough, he gets them both. If Stan's form starts to really string together this evening, then that's a fiery EG. Just fishing for these frags versus pistols, all the while throwing players up around into heaven. So this is going to be a wrap into the A site that should, oh, should, being the emphasis, fall flat. But RPK, doosh, 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 three digs inside of the A bomb site suddenly makes this one look winnable. Bit more frag grenade damage versus Stan. Breeze is going to take to the rafters, but there's the EG nade back the other way. Nevera underneath the hut, right alongside Shocks. It's going to have to be his 1v2. And he knows Breeze. Oh, the Deagles are so damn good. Vitality. Five Deeg kills across the board. It's a full house between RPK and Nevera in Vitality's favor. And also EG's, right? They were very quickly, swiftly running through that dry run last round. Now Ziwu's getting kills through smoke. I can feel it. The French power starting to take over. Masuda, that second top. Good to get the man advantage. Meanwhile, Breeze here inside of the A site looking to two separate targets as his teammates come flooding up from vents. Ziwu's going to go ahead and drop a smoke of his own. Pink can. And they know someone's lower. It's a really good position here for, for Vitality, but at the same time, evil geniuses are aware. So there's a chance a mistake could be made, and they get some damage off on RPK. Test his position upstairs. I think they're playing it pretty well. Let's see if they can actually make something happen. No, the smoke comes up. And RPK runs out of bullets, but he still gets the kills. There the it is. The shutdown in Squeaky, and they don't run into further trouble. Um, they didn't actually get the info outside, but they made the correct read. However, they lose a player in the process. Yeah. Zaiwu, though, he keeps eyes up on Stan. The first player to kind of round these corners. Missed shot. That's going to cost them. Breeze low HP. Here's this sprinting from Nevera. So that's going to be an easy pickup for him. And a man advantage off of the back of that. Now it falls on to Shocks and Masuda. Shocks on the ladder. Just sees him. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Gets up. But was he spotted? Yeah. No. Yeah, he's, he definitely was. Yeah, okay. Just making sure, man. Oh, my God. Now he's, like, nervous. He can't even get to Silo. Oh, he's uh, going to be heard jumping around. Uh, and he literally gets flanked. 
Yikes. I can see the kex in the chat after that. Okay, it's three, <laughs> three up here for evil geniuses as they take around. Yeah, high pressure seeing as he had such low HP. He really couldn't make a mistake, and he still runs the risk of climbing up a ladder behind someone. Ooh. There's a man behind Stan. Wow. He takes Ziwu down over top of it. Good thing shocks can trade, but still, that's a, that's a big scalp to lose for the CT side. Masuda going to dodge down the ramp room. He's, uh... And yeah. EG take control of it, but he sticks around a bit. Oh, nice timing. Comes back at it, removes Cirque, and then adds more damage versus Ethan. This could really put Shocks in a perfect position. They might know. It depends the glass or not. Oh, Yo. oh they open it up. He's like the shot, though. Okay, Wait. he'll get the kill. Yeah, gets two from it. They fall down into him. Ethan could even be his third pickup. That would be the fourth kill on the round for Shocks. Under him. Oh my Nicely God. done by Shocks. He was everywhere that round, Mohan. Outside yeah, to get true. his opening kill, immediately down into the B site. Masuda slows them, and Shocks quietly creeps behind. Slow down a touch. Let's see if uh, they've got anything interesting to pull out here on this T-saving round. We're moving very quickly outside, and they get the drop in a mini with damage. Shocks goes down. RPK alone upstairs. They've got bodies okay. inside of Mini. That's everybody here for EG, but Nevera, he peeks into the Deagle. RPK from the Rafters, good for the 2K. Ziwoo's going to immediately move back into Heaven. Checks outside, sees nothing. Masuda continues on with his wraparound, and, well, that could prime them nicely. He gets the back of Breeze with ease, and Cirque. Well, he's slipped now back behind Lobby. Masuda's going to catch both those kills in the 2v2, and that's perfect for Vitality. Well, maybe not perfect. He's like, I don't know if they're there. How many could be there? Or whether they've even wrapped around him, but he's getting wind of what's going on here. Peeks into it. Oh, Stan had just looked the other direction, as had Tarek. Awkward moment that Shocks will take happily. But then, oh, a, a crescendo of kills comes out from Evil Geniuses. Three simultaneous frags, and Zewu can't hit his kill too crisp Damn. is EG. Ninth round to the T side. It's so quick, you can't really recount what happened. Whose fault it is at this point? Three kills instantly. Enough time as well to, to hit downstairs if they'd like to. And Shocks will try to interrupt that timing. Oh, almost dies for it. He gets a lot of information. And Sanislaw, he, he changes the play up a little bit. But does this actually make things harder? We'll see. The rotation comes downstairs. Oh, and he does open up upstairs. Yeah, even getting follow-up damage to Ziwu. That makes it awkward, but now he has one HP. Ziwu going to get pressured from so many directions that finally he dies at the hands of Tarek, but RPK's spot goes unknown. He chases that kill, puts him into the crunch from Stanislaw, but with a single point of health. What do you expect from the man? What can you expect from the Stan? It's just a wins. They just got to win. They just got to actually close out maps. Um... Easier said than done, but I mean they've done, they've done the legwork. They've done the legwork. They have the game plan. They have the pieces. They're fragging. Ooh, so is Tarek. Yeah, that's the uh, bottom fragger of Evil Geniuses. Now starting to put kills on the scoreboard, and it is a drought for Vitality. Yeah. What the heck? I don't even know what. Look at all they, these dead bodies. I mean, they're there's no smokes, you know. <laughs> it's like synchronized dying. They all just flop outdoors. Hell, EG, an 11th straight off the pistol. Ooh, great damage. Oh, that is perfect. Og from above. Bree's going to rapidly flank behind the door. Zewu's dead. <laughs> and Masuda hits a hell of a 1D. Ethan gets blasted down outside of the vents. Shocks and Masuda in with kills. We've got a 2v2. It wasn't looking too hot for Vitality, but they did swarm this lower site. Now they, oh, see Sir can take his head off. Breeze is going to have to come in with the clutch. Both these players armored. He opens the door back behind them, and Masuda, four kills on the force by, gives Vitality some life. Amazing. Now, okay, Vitality, they're going to be crossing outside quickly again, this time versus way worse guns. Uh, but these worse guns are our... Excuse me? Ziwu's going to follow up with a kill versus Stan. Breeze has the one SMG in position. Ooh, jumping up, man. What the heck? Door swings out. Breeze with a back turn from RPK. His sense is too low. Yeah. <laughs> Go look at his EDPI. It is way too low for situations <laughs> like that. Never stick this man in front of control again. Breeze coming in for two kills, but instead will get out dueled by Shoxy. 
who's only got this amazing U a U a UMP. It's done so much already. But a bullet also bounces off of the rafters. To really show you the contrast between the spray, watch the impacts. First the head, then the ceiling. Like, <laughs> what are the odds that he gets that kill? But information's half the battle, so we'll, we'll see what he can make of this play. Oh, man. He could just knife three people here. Watch. Oh, sure enough. He's going to run in. Hell, he got now he's gun. got his hands on an AK. Now there's a serious threat. Throws the flashes. Sir comes Sir's in with the push. CZ. Dude, this is perfect. Dude, they can't get the bomb back. Plus, Shox is outside. Thing is, Ethan doesn't know he's here. Oh, but there's going to be a Zeus as it's well. so erratic with the pistols walking around. Here's Shox, the guy that they couldn't find. But now we've got one tucked inside a squeaky. Sir, he'll get hunted down eventually. But it's enough to get the bomb potentially. We'll see. Shox upstairs dies straight onto the USP. And Stan, he's Ooh. delaying. Not only is it delaying, he gets a kill. And Ethan gets the final frag as well. On this secret agent mission, walking through outside, rapping into the back of lobby. There's gaps here, so he might not know if someone moved, but definitely has to spend more of his time looking at the left side here. Uh, and okay, he'll he'll take care of that. So that's it. He can hear the rest coming around, yep. but see, he's already got support and he's locking down hell. They'll go up above, which is kind of a problem, I suppose, but got a teammate upstairs as well one of the bottom of the ladder to watch this the trade comes Ooh. down yeah, and offside and multi frags that's all they need rpk's in for the 1v3 clutch He's going to get pinched from both Heaven and Mini, but ooh, just Tarek trying to serve up a distraction. Oh, RPK, he gets around them, slips down Cirque. Now it just needs the headshot versus Tarek, who's walking in, and RPK tagging him with damage, but Tarek keeps the ball rolling. EG, 13 over 7. Wow, it was almost an unforced error. That was actually very nicely done from RPK. That was a position where EG were winning in such a big way as soon as Tarek peaked them, but comes down to this big play by Cirque. And then here's the only thing, is like when he gets downstairs and they wrap over top of him, it comes down to Ethan alone. Uh, and that's where the round could potentially be in jeopardy, but that multi-frag just locks it up. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Canceling out the player above. I only got one upstairs. Yeah. No, oh, one back sight. And Breeze up here in the rafters. But Breeze looks away, and that's going to cost him. Ethan, mm, on for oh the multi-kill. He can get another. Yep, he could. Oh, he will. Three frags coming out of Ethan. He needs that reload. He dodges the oh, player so. close to him, and he could have come out with more, but it's going to have to be Stan now versus Shocks, and it's Shocks in the clutch. Tagged up by the frag. He's going to go for that bomb plant, both the CTs over towards Lobby. And of course, he knows that Stan dodged back there, but Stan the man with the headshot back sight, 14 rounds for EG. Brother, it's the Ogpocalypse. The Og week was over. Looks so much easier. Last round. They're just going to try to smash outwards. Ethan's got a comfortable position over top of the hut. Masuda taps down Cirque. And Ethan right thereafter. Having cleared the rafters, it's heaven that becomes the next point of contact. A little bit of wiggle room here given to Vitality to get themselves into a comfortable post plant. Bree's going to drop smoke towards heaven. What's the rest of the retake look like? Well, a second player back towards heaven as well. And also at any moment, Stanislaus looking to come flying out from vent, but his Molotov actually holds him back. They get one kill towards heaven, and now it's Tarek's turn. He comes outwards, almost getting himself to second. It's going to be Stan looking for another clutch. He's going to have to chase down Nevera. Frag grenade thrown, dodges the shots from the damage Ooh. and puts the spam back in. Stan, he's got the kill. He jumps on time, but I don't think he's got it. Oh, oh got a point two nine. Vitality taking another. And if, if Stan... Kind of, if Stan knows that he scared them enough and he goes for the re-aggression, like oh, that. that's that's when it gets way worse for Vitality. Now they're flustered. Oh, they walk they back into the surge. Ooh, Ooh, Masuda's got an answer, though. Yo. You know what? Masuda's looked good this he's game. He's been a rose in the concrete for Vitality. Yeah, he's like, put me on every map. I'm so ready. No! Oh, oh, Ethan's 5-7. That's a big pickup, but they do have an evacuation route. If you wait too, too long and let them let people get into spots, but they'll go ahead and clear stuff out. They're going to push these double yeah. doors together. That would be a good play. Yep. Get out of here. Wait for some movement uh -oh. elsewhere, and then in they go. Masuda kills Tarek. You've got two players exiting out from Decon and one sitting inside of the vent. Stan's always kind of playing this one-off in these retake moments, and he's creating such a great distraction. Oh, but there was a chance. 
RPK can't contain all three. It's a 15th for EG. All of them by way of retake. So there's been very clear chances for Vitality on this T side. But Evil Geniuses, they're just racking up rounds and frags this time from Tarek. It's on the ramp. Oh, that RPK decides he is still going to fight for this. Two pistol kills into the AUG. And there are now two AUGs in the hands of Vitality. Yeah. They're able to kind of wrap around towards hell. Oh, he misses the timing. Yeah. Breeze has gotten himself around the doorway. And he's going to pick up that kill with 14 HP, the difference. And RPK, having already done so much to open this, is low health. Who does that leave? Ziwu, of course. Low health for Breeze and Ethan on the other side of the coin. RPK a bit cautious about planting bomb. And with this spot here from Ziwu, Stan can swing the doors open. Ziwu's going to actually cover it and Stan decides to just hold off. He's playing RPK's position against him. And it works perfectly. EG, patience is key. And they'll find 16 here on new. That was a quality map from EG and in Vitality. They, they had some good stuff, but... It wasn't nearly as much. Okay. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get this game underway. Thank you guys for your patience. Please forgive us. And please forgive me. Because I'm about to get real excited about what could be the second and only map left for EG to pick up here. We've got Navera with a trade kill back. EG 3v3. And Navera wants a little more. He tries to peek down into middle where Cirque stops him. And then this B flank was meant to get those last kills. But Shocks head on a swivel, head on a spike. He's got Vitality up 1-0. As Masuda bolsters the site, and Ziwu rotates over, but Cirque, he's going to open up versus sh Shocks on short. Ethan slips behind the sandbags. Oh, man, he could just rail these two CTs, but instead he gets pinched, and Ziwu, meantime, gets the kill on the other side. This is still a good situation for Vitality, but the trade frags back and forth, and they are going to stabilize in the end, yeah. here, leaving two HP for Terran. Oh, yeah, it, uh, the problem is, you know, this rotation, it's too easy to cover on the CT side, and hard held the other side of the site that he hasn't crossed past Jenny. Well, he's got a little headshot angle here. If he can just cleanly take somebody's oh. scalp off like that. Oh. oh, but he just runs in. Ziwu coming around the side of the smoke. Wait a shuts second. Down. No, he doesn't have enough time to does defuse this, does he? It's going to come down to the wire. Oh, it's going to be damn close. Wow, he might actually Ooh. grab it. <laughs> of course Ooh. he does. Dude, this guy's a robot, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Uh, and it was perfect for him to get up top. Stan's got his head turned, and EG, they've got this false confidence with a player towards short. That flash, you know, kind of stutter step Ziwu, but now as he goes back, it's just fully confirmed. He's ready for the second player. There is a challenge, though, coming in from short side, and Tarek actually wins that duel. Now, Breeze could open up. Oh, oh Breeze himself a second, and that's a huge pickup to put us into the 1v1. It's Tarek yet again. No time to leave, but Not enough space to plant. Smoke is here. Tarek, he'll spot the... Oh, he's got he'll it! Kill him, RPK's out. You gotta credit Breeze for that one. What a spray transfer into CT spawn. Man, there's something about the right-left click that's just so satisfying. It, it, it almost floats into position. Sure, yeah. But hey, those pistols still pack a punch. Oh, two headshots for Vitality. This wall of smoke is going to make things a little bit awkward, they but they can boost a player over, and that's called out by Tarek. Ethan's going to take a bit of damage here, but Tarek's finding impact. And you know what? Yesterday, he was one of the most impactful players for EG on this map in particular. And on T-side. And he's just tearing him up. Nevera's got another pistol kill, but Tarek's on for the ace, and he's got it. It's just versus pistols, but it's five frags nonetheless. I draw, you know, comparisons between them as those NA major winners. There's, like, there's certain positions. Selfless. There's certain positions. Yeah, selfless, exactly. And Okay, hold on. The rifle round moves ahead. Another oh! opening. Oh, make it to like a <laughs> magnet, Ziwu. A third. Holy moly, he's got some more. Looking exactly like Henny. Spinning image. And if Ziwu has a twin, somebody better find him. Yeah. Odds are he also plays Counter-Strike. Breeze, though, he's slipping into this A site, and he's not going to check that corner. Mm. Nevera gets the kill. Ziwu coming in huge with three op frags. Now, the one versus Ethan, that should have been Ethan's kill every day of the week. Sure. Uh, that was the missed chance. The third sh the, the sh shot, frag, whatever you want to call shit? it. Is that what you said? <laughs> Something like that, man.
of, of having mid control. And yeah, Ethan, four out of five recent maps have been negative ratings on Vertigo. Oh, it's My so goodness. good. <laughs> that is smooth from Shoxy, and he doesn't even break a sweat. Can we get that in slow-mo, please? 4K Ultra HD slow-mo here. I mean, yes, unarmored pistols, man, but so slick. Still sweet, yeah. 480R, straight up. They've let this one slip before. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, they were watching it, but now they don't. Ziwoo's going to get activated in just a moment. Stan comes to clear it. He's the first to fall, but good thing for Breeze. Turns it around, snaps it back at a 4v2 lead for EG. We've got Shocks is up. Hey, missing his shot. And that's going to let Breeze get away. Can't let that one drop. That would have been brought it back to three. And now, can they even attempt this retake? They got a smoke for short shelf, but two on four, maybe they need a smoke for the bomb if they're going to get anything done. Yeah, that looked like is what too exactly deep as they well. needed. Surf's going to challenge from short. That smoke does nothing. Yeah, that's that's not great. Get him out of here. So it cannot be too deep because, of course, you can stand on the other side of it. And all yeah. it does is create an escape. What they needed there was Zewu to go huge, but instead he only gets Stanislaw and Breeze whips it back around. This was the boost from Stan. Did he see him? Yeah. Okay. Saw it. Spam the tarp. Got the frag. Yeah, this, this is Breeze's entry and then reaction. This is an amazing, yeah, amazing refrag from Breeze. I mean, instant to the head. And the rotation takes some time. And they're hoping, I think, that they, uh, like, get someone to push into Breeze in this moment. And RPK, he's always going to get one from this spot. Here he gets some damage at least. And there it is. Chance for a bit of a lineup. Doesn't get a second, but the rotates are all in position. And I mean all in position. Everybody's here. Look at the mini-map, man. That is a swarm on both sides. And it is Vitality to come out on top. But both these players have ops. If Stanislaw can somehow Let's split go. between them or just leave. Let's see where he takes it. He can do pretty much anything at this point. But how much time does he feel like he has? He's playing a clutch against two players with huge clutch potential as well. Oh, he's sitting on default, okay. He needs to make it a 1v1. They've got two offs here. Yeah, they're coming in split. He sees the barrel. Oh, Shox doesn't miss that shot. That's a, that's kind of... Okay, the only problem with that, RPK is the weakness. They don't know about this deagle over on the B site. There's a clamp down on A ramp and yeah. a lot of players here to fight. Nevera. But they've been good at getting these entries. He's going to slide outwards into the fight. Oh, just... Gets himself three. Those headshots after the first kill are so crisp, man. M4A1S. I'm buying the print stream. Commercial and a half. That's it. Breeze is going to go sprinting into the B site, and then they do find that weakness. They do sniff out the single deagle, and they deal with it. The rotation's not here yet. Shox was in a spot to try and stop it, but he dies. And Nevera's going to get himself a fourth kill. Oh, he's on for the ace. Tarek's going to stop him. Another clutch attempt, but Tarek falls short. And Vitality secure a nine. That could have fallen. That could have been around. Like, as Zewu comes in with low HP on the, as the last player, Masuda have to win that duel. Look at this standoff. They could smell each other. Oh, and he pops up, loses his head. Masuda going to die to the wall bang. Good cover there from Breeze. Now it's Shocks' turn. And he's got Stan right behind him. Navarro winning another crucial duel. Shocks lays down the law, stops Bomb, and pushes Derek to the 1v3. Navarro, 18 and 9. 10 to 5 to the favor of Vitality as we switch sides. Five players ahead of him. Little fake plant. It's, it's been too quiet for Shocks. Too quiet. So he goes back in. This time he commits to the bomb plant. We got a 10-man retake. Make it nine. Poor Cirque just gets slaughtered. Dies through the smoke grenade. Wonder if he had nades or not. Stan's gonna be trying to flank down from the bottom of the ramp. He's got like four sets of eyes. Look, they're running him down. They're like, Stan, we're gonna get you. Oh, he's gone. And he actually falls back, and the longer he yeah. stays alive, the better. This pushes Shocks into an awkward spot, and they're Ethan's gonna stick the deep deal. No. Oh, but he dies. That's awful timing for Ethan. Now Stanislaw comes in from the flank, and he also gets shut down. A great attempt, though. A great attempt. That was really cool, you know. Spooky. Ethan just hiding here, man, hoping. Oh, uh, the Molly actually oh, bounces away. And that's going to give Ethan an easy trade. He goes on top of the box with shocks now just beneath him. And Sirk, he's delivering op kills he that knows. cut down Vitality. Ethan's super aware. He's like, screw this, man. I'm going to hide. 
And while he loses half health, Shox's position now absolutely confirmed. He dies at the hands of Tarek. And it doesn't feel like he's in bad form, just on this map. So I think that would be the, that'll be the big problem, Sir, as well. Tarek not so much, but Nevera, man, what the hell? Nice Instant angle. double dink, Mac 10. Freeze, looking for the second. Can't control the spray. So we've got the B site underneath the feet of Vitality. CTs have to make a very tough decision. Do they go for this retake? But uh, there's still a chance if they, they smoke out the main choke point, potentially could stick this with one or two kills alone. Let's see if they can pull it off. Well, they burn the middle of the site. They burn the top of the stairs long, very low already, but they get a crucial kill. Now they're just going to just cover it. Cover it and smoke it. Stick the defuse. Stan, it's coming close. Oh, he's got it. EG with a robbery of a defuse. It comes with a cost, absolutely. They're just so open. There's no cover on the site. Yeah, you have to sit outside of the stairs and then people know you're there. Okay, whoa. Two for one trade here. Ethan opening kill. So you want to see from EG, of course. And Tarek, I mean, he's got his... Oh, my God. Oh, he's been caught. Yeah, he was going to get caught from three sides. This guy got caught in 8K Ultra HD on camera. Everybody was watching him here. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. This gave up the man advantage, and they... Uh, they clearly did not have the information they thought they did, and then they lose another. Yeah, but there's Breeze in the corner, and that's a good trade frag back. Two versus two health advantage even for EG. It's B once again, and there's actually significant grenades, but here's where one gimmick could really just throw everything through a loop, and they're pressing up for the early win, which is, you know, something we'll have to see if they expect. Breeze incendiary into the site. You can see him honing in on Ziwu's position. I think it's going to have to be Shocks to come in with the clutch, but no, Breeze, he turns his back. You could see him looking there. Because they're scared of what Vitality, uh, or yeah, what Vitality might do. Ziwu opens up here versus just the measly pistols of EG. I really love the, the perfect pinch that Vitality played that last round. You know, they planted that bomb with not a second to spare, but the flash here into the ramp is good enough for two. Whoa, that's no way. Monstrous. They get, it's a four on three situation, bomb in sight, blinking in front of him. Off here, watching Stanislaw. He's not peeking quite yet. It looks like he might. They bait the shot out. And these are paper thin walls, but he doesn't get the bullets in. Oh, he lands one. RPK extends to the trade. Frag is fantastic. RPK low. 2v2 still to go, and the bombs still not picked back up. Tarek gets the kill, and now it's into Shoxy's clutch. He doesn't know. He's got the bomb. He's getting out of there. I don't know if they realize, yeah, Breeze was spotted on A-Ramp because he got a kill. His teammate corroborates that information. He can't run. And he's one of the best in the clutch. I think this is Breeze who's going to try to read this, and he does so correctly, walking back over towards B. It's planted more towards spawn side. I don't know. Shox runs out into him, and Breeze takes his time. Not not even enough across the board, but, um, you know, opening kills here starting to pile up for everybody, and this might be a, a rifle round before an eco if EG can even win it. Good nade damage, and already a kill set up nicely for, again, what like they like to do, which is the retake. However, Terra goes down, and the ah. refrag is denied. Ziwu, my goodness. That's the difference right Silver there. Silver bullets. Nevera, he takes the headshot into Ethan, so now it's going to have to be Cirque. Vitality about to secure their 15th. He shoots shocks in the back, but Nevera is still just playing this post plant perfectly. Bit more damage. Look at the HP here, accumulatively, for Vitality. Always the risk in the retakes. No matter how much unconfirmed damage you do, spam shots, whatever, it's... You gotta go. It's just, uh, it's tough. But they they absolutely needed to get the refrag on a ramp. It would have been a completely different round, at least much longer, much closer. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's why, you know... To go big. And it's go big or go to map three. For the first time in the Blast Spring Groups 2021, we may have a three-map series. Maybe. Double umps and a deagle. And this walkout from Shocks finds contact, gets the headshot. And now the ball is really rolling here for Vitality. Stanislaw is going to come around the side of the sandbags, but he gets popped. And sure enough, that's it. That's it, folks. No way. Unless. No, no, no way. Unless. Breeze hears footsteps. This is one kill for Breeze. Or not. RPK, he's going to put that nail in the coffin. Which means, sure enough, we go the distance. And if I'm not mistaken, we go to Inferno. Yeah. Which makes things really interesting.
It's always the... It's like, yeah, we'd like to build a circuit to uh, really kind of bring up-and-coming team. Light. Play against the Strahlis. <laughs> Single elimination. Masuda, it's awesome. On the short side, gonna miss his chance at an opening kill. There are still three CTs here on the Whoa. bomb site. They are flying into the crosshair, and we've got the terrorists coming out on top. Ethan, two kills. I am very excited to see Ethan get back into form on this third map. I think I... if there's one thing that's gonna change between Vertigo and Inferno, it's gonna be Ethan's ability to impact. But here comes the machine. Here comes the cyborg. He is calculating the chances of this win. He is figuring out all their positions, and he looks away as Ethan prevails for EG. Yeah, we're set up in the post plan. I don't know. It's not that bad here for EG. No, no. They definitely could still win this. They got away from that initial crunch on mid. Smoke grenade from Ziwu. Going to go deep down banana. Or rather, just on the front of it. Cirque's gonna get pushed forward. Stanislaw activates. He sees three players. Gets cut down. Ziwu one HP now. AK trades hands, and it's a spray from Cirque. He's got two kills. Tarek has three. EG, hang on. They posted up. Very strong positions. And this kind of tells them that there isn't much here to show. So he decides to commit. Whoa, delayed reaction. Doesn't spot Ziwu, doesn't shoot at him, and that's gonna line him up for further damage. Now, Shox, this is a big position. He gets one kill from it. That's it, just finishing the job of Ziwu, oh. as opposed to taking more players with him. But Nevera very quickly slipping to the depths of Coffin Corner. He's got, of course, a teammate coming up, Banana. That could deal with Cirque, but Cirque's currently locked in on this. So there we go. EG have a bit of an edge. Nevera slipping into the bomb site at the very least. Had Masuda to try and set him up. I feel like Nevera still goes unchecked, but he can't leave. And as he tries to walk back, it's Breeze to give EG number four. Tell me they're not playing well. They sit and wait here for the yep. rotator and CT spawn. They got so much control. This is like their chess T side attack. I really love how they've added this in recently. Ooh, they activate a little bit sooner than last time we saw this. And Ethan, oh, he's going to walk right into Shocks, who seems to be on high alert for a second player. Almost getting Breeze. It's substantial damage, but it's Ziwu who has to fall away from Wait Banana. To push down mid, but they're coming back to look at it. However, they initially do, and then they turn around again. Oh, catching the opper. Cirque goes down. Now Tarek, can he could this. flank the mid flank as Bomb kind of stutter steps. This is Tarek's chance. He peels RPK off of the oh. gunfight, but Stanislaw drops Bomb, and Ziwu comes out, catching one by surprise. That would have been the one. Needed the off shot Dude. there from Stanislaw. Now through the molly and the smoke, Stanislaw could challenge. Seems like he's waiting for the flash to try and pop these two CTs. He does this a lot. I don't know how, how expected they'll be of Fight him inside here. of apartments. Vitality going to come up with the two-man advantage, but look at Stanislaw. He's, he's in between them. And we've got, we've got someone really far ahead. He's also maybe heard a footstep. Yeah, cross on a site. This is going to allow him to come in, but he's got his back turned. Shox is here camp and second oranges, and he oh. is taken out. Stan. It wasn't him who had to shoot the CT in the back, but he absolutely made the most of that space creation. Nevera shutting down Ethan. Not a headshot. Wow. Don't forget, Masuda only has three HP to work with, so he better he better just dump that utility belt. Get all of those grenades rolling for the days. retake. He's going to smoke off Banana. We got a Molly here on quad. Cirque's going to try to block off oh, Coffins. Nice. Takes the fight to Ooh. CT. Nice first shot from Cirque. He dives back into the cover, and they are on top of this bomb. He's but off nobody's it. sticking it just yet. RPK down to the two-second mark. One Cirque's going to go through, but he opts not to. And it's RPK with the defuse stick. Vitality second round. He had it if he came through the smoke. He should have thought that there was a chance that they would stick. Even if he comes through and they get the kill, they might not have been able to defuse at the end. Masuda worried about apartments. There's nobody up there. Instead, we've got three guys on short and two here on Arch Op included. Masuda, he can't peek anything towards Arch side. If he does, this Op's going to bag him. And this allows Breeze to push into the bomb site. But a missed shot from Ethan. Oh. That's going to give Masuda a second chance. He stops the bomb carrier and gets another kill. Oh, <laughs> the tap into Ethan to close it. Vitality. That came close. Nice. Frag grenades down deep, bodies confirmed, close. Ziwu, oh, he looked like he was gonna leave, but he what? comes back and he takes what he wants. I can't believe he stayed there, plus trusted that flash. Chance at a recovery here. 
Evil Genius is barreling up Banana, but see who he's fighting. Tooth and nail. Finally, Breeze is going to get a multi-kill, and that could crack open the B-Site, but Navera slapping him with that op. Put Cirque to the 1v3. Time to go to work, my friend. You had a couple of close calls. You've looked smart in the clutch, but you fumbled at the end. Here's your redemption story. Lots of space. You have the bomb on your back. RPK is coming in for a timing, and he could get caught off, but he also could become fortunate. Let's see if he hangs out too long. RPK turning the corner. I think he'll be spotted. And Yeah, he's oh, seen. Looks like Cirque's days are numbered. He'll get taken out. The patience from RPK versus saving players. And a well-timed grenade. Just enough to get them all within headshot range, and I think he sees a hand or two. Yeah. Now we'll take an off angle and the full-on duel, but he does not win one. Ah, ah, ah. A little bit of spam damage from Masuda. Again, just constant chipping and chipping away from EG, pushing through his Masuda. He gets punished. Breeze gonna find himself upgraded to the A1S. Off from Nevera, misses the mark, and now we have EG in an advantage. A massive one at that. I mean, honestly, but it's RPK. Full HP, flash to work with. No kit currently on him. Could be one inside the site, but even a kit won't solve this problem. It's a trident of angles here from EG. I mean, the flash retake, like, they shouldn't, I didn't, I feel like they were a bit insecure about their chances of the retake, when in reality, I feel like they were in a pretty comfortable Oof. spot. But okay, run into the anchor if you'd like to. RPK will take two of three, and Tarek doesn't live. So that's, uh... Bree's gonna hear this movement, this little bit of an aggression, but they line up for him, and it's Zewu to then just hit it perfectly from the other side. We saw three at least, so... Yeah. Gonna be an easy attempt into the B site, you'd think. Just shocks with that USP. RPK dies down middle, and now all the attention is turned back. Those are some great shoulder peaks, though. What can you say? Zewu would have to go nuts. And you know what? He can. He is gunning for the ace at the moment, and he still has Masuda to try and set him up. With these flashbangs, the pistol could push, which it does to no avail. And now Zewu has no way to get that player off of quad box. So maybe he comes at this from a different angle, but with the CT smoke, I think he's going to have to concede. An eighth round given over to EG, but uh, let's contextualize this successful half. We saw Evil Geniuses with a 9-6 T side versus G2, and that 9-6 half led to a 12-16 loss. Yeah. At the same time, there is timing here for Cirque. If he slips into Arch right now, he'd have it, but RPK is going to get this challenge on him. And sure enough, he wins it. So now it's all in from the apartments in short. Masuda here by the hay bales. RPK comes out from library and gives the cover they need. It is all on Tarek. He's got 50 seconds and two quick kills. Both these CTs coming in from short. Tarek extends into them. And Vitality keep this as close as possible. The Blast Spring Showdown needs another participant. And one half separates the next team for it. No kid? No kit. Hmm. Interesting. Ethan's going to start dumping his utility. Tarek dies instantly. Ethan then taps to the side of Nevera. Can't get himself a second, though. Hmm. That was Ziwu wrapping around through construction. It's all confirmed. Bomb plant is theirs. They gotta be and what fast. if he pushes through construction and loses bomb? Yeah. What that, a madman. It did seem like he... Um, that was like a me moment. I forget I have the bomb all the time. I don't know where I end up, but, uh... Job done. Job done. But not no. quite, because there's a post plant here to hang on to. They've got a okay. banana flank. Breeze coming in from behind. Cirque trying to tap away, but Ziwu reveals himself. Shocks with the double headshot. Vitality takes second pistol. Uh, there's a lot of ways to lose that round for EG. So, it's going to take a pretty strong effort from the guys here, even though they got the opening kill. And they both got M4s, and Ethan opens up. Oh, that's gets back in with a little bit more damage. They're trying to challenge through that smoke grenade. That's not boding well for Vitality. Two versus five with the Galils. 30 seconds to spare, and it is shocks to get one. And then they evacuate. They're going to lay down another smoke grenade. If they can catch this mid player, Breeze, he's playing with abandon. He's going to go ahead and dive back around alt, but they could chase him down and still end up on the A site. Had they just got their kill, then they sprint to A, and there's a real chance. But now he can kind of slip back into the defense, and this should be EG clamping down on him. Cirque's going to round the corner a little bit too late, but a back offered in shocks. Nevera gets stopped. It's Breeze to recover what could have been a bit of a mistake. The terrorists stuck inside their smokes. Oh, man. 
Ziwu's 40 HP, he gets spotted between... Ooh, that spray could have been something special. Lots of eyes on the other side of smoke. RPK, if he walks through this, he is a dead man. Unless he goes alongside the Flash, Tarek slipping behind them. He cuts down RPK. Now, he's stuck in a corner himself, but with the 5v3, so be it. He knows when to be patient, not to overdo it. And then he just gets out of there and sends the garbage man in, Tarek, to come back after, like, it's just become a wasteland of charred earth and dead bodies. This is cool. Nice little play here from Nevera. Oh, yeah, a little treehouse boost. Yeah, jumps alongside it. Monkey bars into the A-bomb site, but uh, they get wrecked. He finds one kill. It's just a numbers game from EG. 25 seconds for him to die. He'll be lucky if he takes one with him. He's been spotted and dealt with. Bree's gonna get that final kill, which pushes evil geniuses to the 10 round count. Yeah, but uh, Vitality are still compensated, which is a bit scary for them. Oh, they try to walk in. Spotted. He's gonna see that, and he might know that the boost is coming. I don't know. They'll push. Flash close. Tarek still in position. He's gonna get himself the kill versus shots and then dive downward. Oh! Tarek with a triple! RPK is gonna be able to answer, and it's still the 2v4, but here comes Tarek. He's on for the ace. Ziwu's got him. Cut down at the final hurdle, and what can he pull out of the hat? He's got 21 kills and the bomb on his back. Spams a bit of damage into Cirque. And he's got 40 seconds to spare. He could leave Banana. He could really make these guys sweat. I mean, he's walking over there. and oh, Still, they keep the pressure up, which is great. Just the right amount of respect in Tarek to be able to hoodwink evil geniuses here. And they are flowing right now. Moving fluidly. Yeah, this man in particular lines him up, knocks him down. Three kills for Tarek as Breeze comes in. A flawless one from EG. It's now them in the lead. Three to go to close this game out. But I mean, what's scarier is if Vitality lose this. No op for... Here it oh comes. Oh my god, they're actually pushing down oh, in the free fire. fire. He can't get the second, but they spot two coming up alt. This lets the B guys know that they're comfortable for a few more moments. Let's Ethan really rock up into position. And he's waiting for this default to come through. He punishes one like a Goomba. Shots into the head of RPK. Can drop the smoke down, maintain B control, and they're up four to three. Ethan's hanging on by a quarter HP. We've got Vitality kind of floating down on middle. Thing is, Vitality, like, they've got their attention turned because they're not quite sure where they're getting hit from. Oh, man. Jab after jab That's here from point. EG. Frag grenade could have been way worse. He gets oh. caught. Ziwu's able to get the better of no, Ethan. It's a, it's a race, really. The yep. timing comes in. They're going to try to throw the smokes, and maybe we just get some damage through, but this could be around that Vitality. Pull it back. It shouldn't have been close. But this man, Tarek, I mean, he has been hot in these last couple of rounds. He's going to get a chance to maybe challenge around coffins. Oh. Great utility damage. Oh, no plan. It, yep, flushes him off of the bomb plant. Cirque's going to get optimistic. Tries to pound some rounds through smoke. All the while, Masuda, oh he's wrapping around in CT spawn. Ziwu, he just looked away. He got blinded, and the bomb planter's down. Ziwu falls back into the corner. Masuda, he needs to come into this. He needs to be a part of the equation. And sure enough, he's got Cirque. Deep Molotov throws it all the way. Headshot onto Tarek. One Can't second left. It. Stan's got the defuse, and EG lead by two. For 14, he grabs that in the fire. Masuda can't see through his own flames. Nearly clutches it out with that Molotov alone. It's more deliberate, more confident Again. in Breeze. He goes to copy and paste the same play as last round. Perfect. And Cirque gets an opening kill with a flash assist oh, from Oh, another! Eric. It's an orchestra of frags for the CT side, and they've got immense control on the round. Dude, they don't even let off. Stanislaw comes in from apartments. They've already evacuated Breeze down Banana. He slices through them and exits, leaving nothing but an open wound. And now it's Vitality who's going to bleed out in this situation. Shocks. He has everything to do. This is not going to happen. So Shocks unsuspectingly getting closer and closer. But if Cirque sees this barrel, he's going to swing out and close this for a 15th round on EG's side. They've got three map and match points. And we could be looking at Vitality being sent down to the Blast Showdown, where we already have the likes of Astralis. Yeah, this would be the biggest win so far for Evil Geniuses. And I Hands mean down. It was looking to me like Evil Geniuses back, you know, five, six rounds. We're going to start playing that scared banana control. But look, they're already coming down T-Ramp. And that's where RPK is going to find himself a kill. 
He has been one of the most quiet pieces here for Vitality. Sirk, he's going to get caught. Ziwu, he gets the better of the angle. Yeah, they're back into this, but we've got Breeze inside yep. of the halls. Two down, Banana. He won't find the first kill, though. That's it. Surely Vitality are going to take A off this. They know Ethan at least is on B. Two guns saved from the CTs, not even going to be contested. Vitality know that their weapons are even more valuable. We're having an off now for Ziwu, which is a huge upgrade considering have made sure to show their opponents that they don't respect them. And I think that's actually worked out very well. Some of the best success oh has been God. at A site and Breeze. He could, oh, he has to come in big. Breeze, he misses oh. his shots. Vitality, they puncture through using apartments again. That's how they got this T side rolling. That timing. Oh, three for three on the Halls Pops. Shattered. No chance to come in for this. EG, they're too far away. This is way too slow for the retake. Round's already over. And Ooh. my God, we are going all the way. But Ethan, he's going to get the better of RPK. He's still picked up in this corner, though. Shocks, he could definitely look to punish this. And sure enough, that's down to just Tarek. Just that one AWP being held onto. The money mostly bottomed out for the CTs, and they only have one round of loss bonus. This AWP could be so valuable. They almost know with certainty that he's gotten here. The Molly's coming, and he tries to get away to Emo. Oh. Unlikely that he stays alive. He does the dance of death. And unfortunately for EG, Bees. They're going to go towards B. Coming quick here. It is just pistols to try and lock this down with. MP9 from Ethan here in the oranges, and he gets caught. His hands are busy with nades. The B site falls. 5-7 up. Headshot. That's at least the bomb drop, but nothing more from it. It buys a little bit of time for the rotate to come over, but not enough time for the bomb to be stopped. It is a post plant with heavy weapons advantage here for Vitality. We are looking overtime in the face. No cons control. They smoke it out. No kit. No utility. Aug already down. M4 hits the dirt. And Vitality, they survive long enough to push this beyond the regulation. Oh, I'm down to go. That was the round where Tarek went big with the 4K. Ethan also playing off of the top ropes. We'll see if they drop the elbow. Ethan gonna drop the bomb. Tarek, now he gets his chance. Two kills and the perfect pinch. EG with the first round of OT. The ultimate multi, and they were specifically waiting for the walk-in, right? Eyes press forward. 40 seconds to spare. We've got EG with the double setup inside of Pit, and a little hesitation here. Cirque, he's moving around in library, thinking possibly that this Smoke could be the B split. And as long as they block his vision, they're good. But there's no smokes. They go for the challenge. And Cirque's going to get the better of Ziwu. 5v3. Breeze waiting for his chance. It is nothing but EG across the kill feed. Masuda with a single kill. But it's still Vitality without a single round. All too easy. I mean, they throw the smoke down so that he has to rotate. RPK is going to be able to cross bomb. Not yet on site. Ethan falls back with that Molotov. This is Vitality's chance. Best. This is their chance to take away at least one T round in overtime. Nevera's a little busy back on Banana. There is nothing coming in from that side of the map. It is all in from EG off spawn. Ethan's going to be the front runner from Coffins. That last bit of utility goes out. Ethan's got the first. Shox, quick answer. Tarek and Sirk also trying to get beyond this point. Shox is now down. Sirk could be the difference. Missed shot from Nevera, but the time ticks quick. They've gotten on top of it, and EG on top of OT, because that's a 3-0 sweep. Now they lock it up, and they only need one now to close, and Zeus can taste it. You can see him. He had one or two great rounds. One incendiary. Smoke will separate him from his friends. The pressure will be on. Standing out in the open in front of Oranges. Can he make something happen? He's gonna have to be the best. And he's got himself too. This is exactly what you need. A little bit of a dink. Stanislaw, one HP. One but it's on Cirque one. yet again. And it's Cirque versus Shocks. And he's not looking for that bomb. He's looking for his headshot. He's looking for victory. And he snaps over towards it, but he doesn't get it yet. Vitality with a lifeline. Oh, there was a chance there to plant, and Shocks could have came through on Banana. It was Ziwu last round. Now it has to be Nevera. Playing from dark. Masuda peeking down mid. Yep. He gets taken out. Oh, my God. Did Are they, they go going to change it back? I don't know. They flash out. 20 seconds. 
They're met by a Molotov. Now would be the time. They're going to challenge through this. Shox is playing off Coffins. Nevera there on the narrowest of positions. We do get this rock back. But it's RPK, the tank, stationary in position. He's got the angle on the first one. Dives down, delivers a second. A little bit more on the bomb planter, but this is it. A 2v2, and we've got Cirque mid, in between them. He turns his attention back. He must have heard him. But he's going halls. And Shox gets know? caught. Now they know. Nevera, he delivered his kill over on the B site, but they know he's here, and he thinks he has the element of surprise. Evil geniuses, 16-19, they take down Vitality, and they continue on for a chance at revenge tomorrow. It wasn't easy, it wasn't fast, and it was almost never clear, especially when we got to OT. But they finally pulled it out. A reasonable victory in Europe.